So welcome to TechnoDad Life, and my name is Jeff. Today we'll look at mesh wireless access points, repeaters and routers, and what the difference is between them. A wireless access point, or AP, is a networking device that adds Wi-Fi capability to your existing wire network. The access point bridges traffic from Wi-Fi into your wire network. So basically it makes it so all your Wi-Fi devices can talk to the internet through your wired connection and router. In general, wireless access points cannot function by themselves and need to be connected to a wireless network by an ethernet cable. You can also have as many access points as you want to extend your coverage to places where wires cannot go. Now, a router connects to your internet provider's modem and traditionally transfers data over a, a wire into your home network. Over time though, wireless connectivity has been added to routers, so now most routers also have wireless. Here you can see an example of the TP-Link router that is not wireless. Generally, when a router is lacking wireless capability, it gains in advanced functions now, you can add an AP to a wireless router to extend its range. To be con considered an access point, it has to be plugged in by a cable. Now, a different device is what's called a repeater. So a repeater, the wireless signal gets wireless repeated without cables. Then it is considered a repeater or extender. It works by receiving your existing Wi-Fi signal, amplifying it, and then transmitting the boosted signal. Repeaters tend to be not as reliable or as fast as access points due to the added communication of repeating over the wireless network. A mesh network is different than the wireless repeater in that any device in the mesh network can carry data back to the router, which is in contrast to the repeater directly talking to the router. The mesh network dynamically distributes the network load among all of its network, but still suffers from the latency issues of the repeater, though to a lesser degree. So it seems pretty simple at this point. Everyone should get an access point for their network. Well, not so fast. The access point has advantages in speed and reliability, but the cost of setup can be prohibitive to many like I mentioned in the beginning, a ethernet cable has to be laid to the point where the access point will be installed. If you don't want to do it yourself, the cost could be expensive due to having hiring a professional to lay cable. Another drawback is the cable might not be able to reach where it needs to go due to walls or tight spaces. But if you can do it, this is the best way to go. Next, if you already have a wireless router, new routers have mesh networking technology built into them. So if you get the appropriate mesh devices that work with your router, then you can add mesh networking to it. An example of this is the AX1900 I reviewed recently. Just check to see if your router has mesh capability before you buy any new devices. If your router does have mesh capability, then simply buy the right mesh device for your router for the areas of your house where you're having trouble getting a signal. If you have an old router laying around, you can also change your old router into a repeater mode or access point mode if you want it to boost your signal. Let me know in the comments if you want to see how to change your router into a repeater or access point. If you've borked your current router, Definitely a look into a mesh router or one that is expandable into a mesh router. Just remember that your best speeds will come if you add an access point. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.